Hello, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, here's Martin and today I will talk about uh, what is running in this development kit uh, because I've uh, found on the internet a really interesting project by uh, uh, Dmitry Greenberg. Uh, I saw this uh, post on the Reddit and I've noticed that this is the Palm OS uh, operating systems and before I will go further uh, what this project does uh, I will need to start a little bit what uh, Palm OS is uh, by the way this uh, uh, this this uh, hack this application uh, which Dimitri created uh, this is the same guy who uh, run uh, Linux on the AVR which was booting uh, like three hours and if you write a command and wait a few minutes then you will basically uh, get everything running fine so he created uh, this project repalm uh, he did a really nice write-up a few days ago but first thing i would like to introduce you to what the palm os is uh, because uh, just before the phones uh, and the gprs uh, in some some year around uh, 2000 i think uh, the, these small uh, packet devices were created uh, where you can uh, write your agenda, your events, uh, your phone numbers, your to-do lists uh, and you can you can draw your notes. Uh, this was a pretty uh, basic device uh, with uh, Motorola 68K processor with uh, some RAM. Uh, this is uh, the Palm 505 so this had a uh, older palm os version 33 megahertz processor 8 mega ram and small density lcd but it was color which was uh, this was the one of the first uh, devices from palm not uh, from sony sony already i i guess had color devices and uh, these devices uh, could do a lot of things so you can add uh, some G uh, gsm uh, mo modem or use uh, sd cards or mmc cards and synchronize it uh, with uh, your computer with your emails contacts with this connector uh, later they've uh, introduced a better and bigger computer uh, palm uh, tungsten t and this device had X scale processor which uh, meant that all old all the old applications had to be emulated which is kind of fun uh, so for example I used files application and if I run it then it uh, works perfectly on both uh, processors so uh, when uh, the, the palm uh, did some uh, mobile phones uh, the trail line and really a few years later i guess that uh, iphones were invented and uh, the, the company completely was shut down and no new devices were created which is a kind of shame because uh, you can write a nicely a nice C code for for these devices. Uh, the latest uh, devices, uh, Live Drive, I think it was called, had uh, even the Wi-Fi, so you could browse the internet. Uh, this one, uh, Tungsten T3, has only only Bluetooth, and this is the Tungsten line, and this is the T3, and it's a spec with a high density display so what all this uh, comes to is this project uh, by Dmitry and he basically created emulated Palm OS but it's not completely emulated uh, if you if you read this uh, very nicely uh, written document on his website then you will know all what is happening what is emulated what is not and uh, I would like to show you uh, what's running here so this kit is uh, STM32 uh, F4 Discovery uh, this uh, kit has uh, some bigger Cortex M4 processor and 8 uh, megabyte of RAM 
and all this allowed uh, Dmitry to run uh, this Palm OS. So let's take a closer look on this device. So on his uh, website, uh, down on the bottom, there's a binary file which you can download and flash uh, to your ST micro processor and uh, run it uh, the same way I do. This is a uh, STM32F429 uh, disco. Uh, be, be careful, there's an, another one version. And after power up, uh, you do the same thing you do uh, with your Palm OS. You have to calibrate the touch screen with the three presses. And every, if everything goes all right, then you can use uh, the P PDA. So Dmitry did a really, really crazy thing uh, because uh, on the uh, he used the Palm OS 5 from uh, some device similar to this, and this uh, device is using the processor which has some instructions which are called ARM thumb or only thumb, uh, the, and these thumb instructions like your thumb uh, they can be they they are also on this Cortex M4 processor or M3, uh, but there are a few issues like uh, these uh, processors can on also run uh, older ARM instructions which are four bytes, and uh, it can also it, it can run thumb and ARM instructions, but uh, new Cortex processors are easier and cheaper and they can run only thumb instructions. So what Dmitry did is uh, he is uh, emulating these ARM instructions, but only the ARM instructions. So he created uh, some crazy just-in-time uh, uh, emulator, which uh, emulates uh, just uh, the piece of code which is written in ARM. Usually it's uh, only a, a small fragment of code which has to run quickly and then it switches back uh, to the thumb. Uh, also, the Palm OS doesn't have any uh, memory protection unit or mem memory management unit. Uh, everything runs uh, happily in one address space and shares the memory. Uh, so it also means that it easily, uh, easily uh, hangs up. And uh, Dmitry also wanted to run this Palm OS uh, ROM natively. So he could uh, rewrite it, everything, but uh, his challenge was uh, to create, to run it natively and emulate only a few bits. He also re, uh, rewrite uh, many tens of thousands uh, lines of code uh, which uh, emulates uh, load and store instructions and also some window management, window management code. Uh, nice hack is that uh, when this uh, Cortex M4 runs uh, to the ARM instruction, which is not supported on this platform, then it creates a usage fault uh, uh, error in the code, and uh, this is the place where the just-in-time debugger, uh, sorry, debugger emulator actually emulates these instructions and then returns to the uh, thumb instructions, which are run natively on this uh, device and he, he was successful to uh, get this emulation down from uh, 170 cycles uh, for one instructions uh, down to 14 cycles per instruction so on this uh, 168 megahertz device it's, uh, it's it's quite quite quick and you can play chess uh, pretty pretty easily So the fun thing is that uh, when you are running uh, Motorola 68K code here, then it uh, can be emulated twice. Uh, once uh, the older 68K code is uh, emulated in ARM, and when this processor hits ARM instructions, he has to uh, convert them to thumb instructions. So this is the second uh, emulation. 
I did uh, some programming for uh, the newest uh, Palm OS 5 and I use, uh, they call it uh, uh, palm, palmlets or something like that and you can jump from the emulated uh, state from the uh, application to the ARM direct to the R mode and you can run uh, some uh, piece of code uh, on the full with a full speed on this 400 megahertz uh, Intel X scale processor and then you go back uh, the funny thing was that you had to juggle a little bit uh, with the parameters because uh, there's a different NDNS uh, between the Motorola and between the Intel so you have to uh, switch uh, the four bytes between and then after some computation you jump back to the 68 code and you have to switch the bytes again. Uh, in the future I would also uh, would like to uh, do a teardown of uh, these two devices uh, so let me know if you are interested in that uh, and right now I just show the basic uh, drawing here uh, this is still work in progress so but uh, so far it's running great it has uh, also working graffiti so I can if I remember correctly now I moved I can write hello and it also Palmo has had also good uh, find uh, subsystem so if I write this it will uh, see that I've written a note with uh, text hello so thanks for watching uh, let me know uh, if you like uh, this uh, kind of short uh, videos uh, short and unprepared and very rough and I will see you in the new videos later bye